what is up guys bongos here today in this video i'm going to be showing you three amazing alternatives to rc20 and all three of these plugins are free they're actually really really incredible um i use them all the time in almost every single one of my beats now i first want to mention is that at the beginning of this video i'm going to be showing you immediately the plugins okay i'm going to go right into them. i'm not going to waste your guys' time but then in the second half of this video i'm also going to be just making a beat and i'll kind of like show how i use those plugins in the beat so if you'd like to stay for the beat i'd love to show you around but let's get into the plugins Woo! Okay, let's get right into those three RC20 plugins. So first of all, here's the melody that I'm gonna be putting RC20 on. Let's listen to it. Okay, so the very first plugin I wanna show you is called Mishby. Now this is a really awesome plugin to use, but if you open up the very first preset, it sounds like this. It's really, really, really overkill. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna turn off the noise. I'm gonna turn off this little thing, turn off the distortion, turn up the quality to 100%. And then I'm also gonna turn down this delta. Now, first of all, we want the pitch wobble, obviously. So let's turn up the pitch wobble just a little bit by turning up the delta. And you can also change the speed by changing rate. I'm gonna make rate about there. Now I'm gonna turn on a little bit of distortion just to see what we can do with that. If you want to add a little bit of noise, you can do this. Nice. This little quality knob is in the middle. It's actually really, really cool. If you turn it down to 0%, it seems like it's doing like a low pass filter, which is really cool. So now let's go in the second one. So basically what I'm doing is I'm going to turn up the wow filter, and basically that's going to be the pitch depth. I recommend not messing with a flutter knob because it just really makes weird sounds. But anyway, you can also turn up the saturation a little bit and it sounds really cool. And then there's also a whole bunch of presets in here like lo-fi. I really like the bass movement preset if you turn the wow down a little bit. Anyway, so this plugin is really, really cool. All my links are in the description. Now here's the third one on the list. I save it for last because everyone knows about it. Basically, if you turn up the warp death a little bit. You can get a little bit of warp depth on there. You can also, there's also this gear thing, which is actually really nice. This one doesn't really have a distortion like the other ones do, and it's more or less made for lo-fi beats, but it is really, really cool on your melodies. Um, I tend to actually use this plugin, doing this little year preset, and then after that plugin, I'll open up Mishby. Anyway, now that we have all that taken care of, let's get into the rest of the beat.
So here's something I've been doing a lot recently with my drums and it's really made a big difference about your drum groove, about your drum feel. The thing is you don't really have to play that many perks. I'm going to intentionally go through these perk tracks and figure out which ones I do want and which ones I don't want. So let's just go to this one from the beginning. I think that this one over here is not really adding anything so let's get rid of it. Nah. Yeah. I think that sounds a lot better, just a lot simpler, a lot cleaner. After you're finished working with an element, whether that's your perk track, whether that's your hi-hats, do I really need this? Or did I just add it because I wanted to add it? That's a good thing for like plugins even. Like don't just start adding plugins because you want to add more plugins. Add a plugin because you think you need a plugin. I don't really know what sound that is. It's some sort of bell. Play this in. I'm gonna play it right at the very beginning. Super simple sound, but I'm gonna put a delay on it. So it sounds like this. I'm also going to add a shaver box on here and basically I'm just going to play a halftime preset. So it like lowers it down by an octave, but I'm going to turn down the mix a bit. So, so it's like I'm playing a low octave and a higher octave, but it's just slightly different. Nice. Okay, so this beat is coming together really, really nicely. I'm gonna show you the final beat at the end of this video. But if you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like, hit the subscribe button. If you use these three plugins or if you have another suggestion, tell me in the comments. I'll see you guys later. I love reading you guys' comments. Thank you for all the support recently, and I'll see you guys later. Woo!